Hi there. I'm Pam Lewison, the Agriculture Research Director for the Washington Policy Center. And uh, you can see I'm not in an office. I am in a tractor on my family's farm. I just wanted to take a minute to tell you a little bit about why. It's a Thursday. I have taken a couple of vacation days because like most farms in the United States and in Washington, my farm is a family farm, which means there are a lot of things to do and not very many hands to do it. We are in the middle of planting corn and um, so my dad is doing uh, ground tillage work and then my husband right behind him is planting corn and uh, then I have the tedious but important task of doing head landing uh, because a lot of our farm is still real irrigated, which means that we go through and set water by hand. So my job is to extend the row up far enough for the water to make it down into the field. <clears throat> so uh, in typical farm wife fashion, uh, my vacation time is being spent um, sitting in a tractor and doing farm work. Now, you might be wondering why this is important. This is important because agriculture has been deemed essential uh, during the COVID-19 crisis. And that means that there are a lot of people like me, like my husband, like my dad, who are out and about working. It doesn't mean that we are um, doing things at our leisure. We are out uh, doing things in hopes of feeding other people later on down the road. Um, we, are, we are concerned about workers, we're concerned about paying bills just like everybody else, and we're concerned about making sure that there's a future. And um, in, this, in this scary time, in this scary moment, uh, it's, it's worrisome for us all particularly to plant a seed in the dirt, put water on it, hope the sun shines on it, and hope that at the end of the day, we might be able to sell it for something. So if you see a farmer, if you see a rancher, if you see someone who does something for you, whether they're a grocery clerk or a trucker, or even just someone opening a door for you, give them a smile and uh, let them know you're thinking about them. I hope that you all have a great weekend.